That is also going flavor. to give another flavor. Flavor. This is flavor. So how many flavors flavor. do you want it to hey, taste? I mean, it's all about flavor and the taste, right? right and right. for Ghanaian cooking, you mm. want to eat and just, you know, 
like, you know what? Can you <laughs> make fast food? When you like, eat outside, you can still smell it. Right? Mm, it feels so good. Okay. So while this is sizzling, you can see, you can see from the... Uh, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's sizzling. Yeah. 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 So we're going to give it another maybe two minutes for it to kind of brown a little bit. Yeah, caramelize. Yeah. And then we're going to add it. I thought we were going to bring the, uh, the spinach because you showed me. Okay, so the so spinach will go in before. Yeah, okay. the spinach is one of the last things that we're going to put into the stew. Because the spinach, this is fresh spinach. It takes about two, three minutes to cook. It doesn't take very long. And that's the last ingredient. That sometimes, sometimes, okay. I, I just want to bring this up because sometimes I see when people are cooking, who well, are from Ghana, so in yeah. one, one, yes, I'm going to that. Sometimes they, they boil the spinach, spinach also separate before they put that in put there. That in the because we're in Canada and we don't have the regular Ghanaian spinach, mm -hmm. we use this as a substitute. This is great spinach too, it's fresh spinach. Or you can also use the um, frozen spinach, which is already chopped and ready to go. Oh, okay. This you need to boil. So this you cut the, um, you cut the wrapper, you get a, a bowl. Mm -hmm. Or saucepan, put that in there, add a little bit of water, okay. and that's going to steam for about 10 15 minutes to cook through, and then that's you're going to add that in to the sauce. Okay. So it's the yeah. same spinach, it's the same spinach. That is, is frozen. Yeah, okay. and this is easier and faster. Okay. Right, yeah. That is the difference. Yeah. So yeah, give it another minute, and another we're going minute. to we're going put to our flavor bomb in here. Yeah, we're add our flavor bomb in here, and we're just going to go ahead and Put all of that in there. Do you smell the flavor? I can smell it. Yeah, it's some salt, but I'm also going to add a pinch of salt. And once again, I don't really measure when I'm cooking. I just sort of pre... I don't, what if I, I don't really measure when I'm cooking. But because uh, I, I grew up in Ghana, right? So it was something that I never... Uh, we, we never measured. We eyeball it, but it still comes out great. So. This is a soft. This is a soft chicken, and I'm mostly using breast for this uh, sauce, which cooks faster. It takes about 20 minutes, give or take, to cook, and then the stock that comes out of the uh, chicken, we're gonna add that in here. Again. And this is going to sizzle for a little bit. Once that you know sizzle and it's all sauteed together, we're gonna add our tomatoes and then finally our tomato paste. So give this another two to three minutes. We're gonna add our fresh tomatoes. Tomato, uh, tomato, uh, very tomato, tomato. -y. <laughs> that's a word. I'm not sure if that's a word. No, but <laughs> I can't even say that. It's somehow it's sour. No, it's it's not sour. Tomato, it's very strong. So you don't want to taste the tomato paste when you eat it, right? So you want to let the tomato paste cook, cook. right? Yeah. So you let it cook for 10, 15 minutes to really get that tomato yeah. paste out of it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And that's why we use fresh as well as the tomato paste to kind of. Get that, yeah, because then it's quite strong on its own. Yeah, it gives it a nice color too. Because this right now you're seeing a lot. It's it's a little um reddish. Mm -hmm. This uh, little red orange. This gives it a nice color. color. When you especially when you add the spinach and then the contrast together mm -hmm. with the green and the red, it really pops up. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. give it another maybe two three minutes, and then we're gonna add our tomato paste. Our chicken is nearly done. Can't you get a flavor in the stew? You can, but it, 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 it adds on to the, um, the stew. Because we need the stock from it, right? So without that flavor, without the flavor from the chicken to the sauce, it makes a difference. Yeah. So you need a little bit of uh, that flavor, that broth from the chicken to add on to the stew, which it, it takes it on to a different right, level. Right. Different level, yeah. So right now we're going to add our tomato paste. Tomato paste is a must in Ghanaian cooking. So you know, I mean, if 
If you prefer not to use tomato paste, mm -hmm. you can also use just the uh, fresh tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And that is also fine, but to get the thickness of what I was talking the consistency and the bright colors, yeah, this is what I was talking about. That's turned reddish. Yeah, for it to like. And then it's not as light as before. Yes, it's not. It's more, so we're going to leave this to cook. Cook, yeah, cook for a while. Okay. And our chicken is nearly done, so I'm just gonna put that on low and that's it. That's it. Sandra. What's with the jacket? Yeah, I don't want myself for the food, <laughs> but I just can't wait. So what is going on? It is almost done, but at this point we're going to add our spices. So this is my own personal spice mix that I made. It has some um, paprika, black pepper, um, parsley flakes, rosemary, a hint of um, curry powder, and a Dash of cinnamon, and that's what. So you made all this? Okay. Yeah. How did you come up with the idea? How did I you... mean, okay, so I actually visited a friend of mine, mm -hmm. and she had a huge bottle of spice, and I was, she was mixing it. So, went, why can I make my own spice? And because I'm not too big of a fan of the um, Maggie the Maggie Q, mm -hmm. this is a healthier option. But if you also prefer, you can also use the Maggie, yeah. and it gives you know the same. Same, Great but result, yeah. But this is my own personal spice, so. All right, so now we're just going to. You don't take measurement for No, I don't measure. It's when the spirit says stop, then you can't stop. All right, now we're just going to add that in here. Okay. Right? Leave all that I'm talking about. My viewers, if we don't have the same spirit as you, how are they going to measure it? Anyway? You can always use a teaspoon mm -hmm. and by taste. So, right now. Mm -hmm. You are going to do a little taste test. Are you ready for a little taste test? Really? But before we do that, that's also... the reason why I want to see. <laughs> do that. We're also going to add another flavor. Another, um... What is that? So this contains um, rosemary leaf, parsley, and uh, what do you call it? Um, rosemary flakes and bay leaves and bay leaves. And bay leaves. Yes, it's essential mm. for cooking. So we're gonna just go ahead and put Drop that everything. put that in there, and we're going to give it a stir. Stuart, would you like to give this a taste? Of course, I just don't right. wait. Get it, get it. It's so good. Though. <laughs> I've never tried this at home.
this for first, maybe just a little. This much is good. But I think for the salt, it depends on how you want it. Some people are low salt. Some people are low salt. They're low heat and okay. So now that this is simmered for a while, the next thing that we're going to put in here mm -hmm. is our spinach. But Sandy, it seems you forgot something. What about the cilantro? That's garnish. Ooh, that's okay. going to be for garnish. That's that's just you know to make the plate look. Oh, alright. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. So the time is not up yet. It's not up yet. Okay. So this is our fresh spinach and the spinach swallows up the steam so once i'm just gonna go ahead and just dump this in which is the main is the star of the ingredients and i put that last because the spinach takes less time to cook so it is to get a nice for to all mix in here Crack it, okay. whisk it, mm -hmm. dump it over the stew. Dump it over the stew? Yes. And so that means we have three eggs. You have one that you're boiling it, and then the other one that you're going to dump into the stew. Yes, oh, absolutely. Nice. absolutely. So they're also going to give another So So that's, that's is, um, my protein, right? It's my meat. So oh, some yeah. people can, you can use chicken, you can use beef, you can use fish, whatever you want. I just prefer to use um, chicken and egg as my meat. Okay. Give it a crack. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> I don't know to use a knife. Oh, yeah, but it's no, crack. Crack the egg, and you know, just make sure you don't get a shell in there. Mm -hmm. And that is it. And I'm gonna get my fork, and I'm just going to whisk it. Well, you have to take that. Just to get it all equally mixed. Just a little bit. We're just gonna let this simmer for two minutes okay. and then we're gonna add our egg. So the spinach is a star. Just look at the color, the contrast. Right now we have green and a red color. It almost looks like our our earphones, but yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, my earphones. Yours is blue. Mine is blue. But I, I was put on the green one too. No, do you have a stew that looks like a blue? Um, no, we don't, we don't have any stew that looks like a blue. I don't know, I'm um, stew, and I'm not really sure where you go with this, but uh -huh. I'm, you, if you're trying. Yeah. I mean, unless you're talking about blueberry pie, but that's not that's not a stew. No, blueberry pie, we don't know. I don't think so. Is it a stew? <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe you can tell me. Blue, blue, blueberry pie is a pie. It's a pie. It's a pie. Oh, okay. It's not a stew. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So right now, we're going to cut our egg, and we're just going to let it go around, and this is going to cook. I'm just going to leave this and it's just going to cook. Mm. Mm. While the plantain is boiling, the plantain takes about 15 20 minutes. Final product of our spinach mm -hmm. stew with mm -hmm. egg mm -hmm. and chicken. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, this is the final product. The final product. Would you like to give it of a Of course, size? sure. Okay. No, 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 I want that. Okay, okay, okay. Give me that. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> you want to try it? You can be in the comments to try it now. So this is the final product and our plantain, sorry about that, our plantain and our egg is completely cooked. All you need to do is just spray in the water. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm going to get the egg out and we're going to have a perfectly boiled egg. Mm -hmm. Instead of boiling the egg separately, mm -hmm. you don't need to. So right now I'm just going to put it over Cold water, gentle with the peel. I love eggs. Any good eggs goes great. Oh yeah? I love eggs. So how many times do you eat eggs? I eat like I in can a in a week. Okay, well you know lately I've been sort of limiting eggs, yes. but I can do about maybe a box of A box? No, well not a <laughs> week. <laughs> I hate well, but not a fucking cake. Well guys. I don't think you have to pull this under on this place because not a box, okay. sometimes you have to listen to the doctor. Not a box, not a yeah. box. So this is my perfectly boiled egg. Mm -hmm. 
and this is going to be cut mm -hmm. and it's going to yeah go with the plantain. So right now mm -hmm. we're going to plate. Oh okay. We're going to do some plated. Mm -hmm. so. I brought the plate myself. Oh. Oh, I mean, for just for pre just for presentation, I would. You know, people eat with their eyes, right? So it's all about the, the looks. Oh, okay. It's all about the looks. Avocado. Oh, avocado. I love avocado. Avocado. So I sometimes even blend it myself. Mm -hmm. Taste sweet. Oh, yeah, very sometimes. They do. Bunny me some more, but some more me know how me me shut down.